what, what do you think about that then? Shooting it the right way? No, it's not. You need to, need to learn to be No, no, you sound like my dad. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. Coming up in this episode I'm going to do a test on factory ammunition as opposed to a home load. The factory ammunition I've always used is Norma 76 grain tip strike. Ideal for foxing. This is perfect, very very destructive ammunition. Now a chap who I've known for some time came in to the gun shop a couple of weeks ago and I was discussing the rising costs of ammunition and he said well I can make some for you. So I've ordered some bullets, I've uh, kept all of my empty Norma cases, I've ordered a set of dies and together last week we made up a batch of 15 rounds and what Dan has done he's measured different amounts of powder in each of the rounds. He said the best thing that's happened is that I've kept all of the Norma ammunition that's been fired once in my rifle so he doesn't have to fanny around uh, making those cases fit. So they've all been pre-expanded to my chamber, so he said it should all be straightforward. So let's go over now to the range. Uh, there's some clips of some footage shooting at this board at 100 yards. I did first did three shots using straight out of the box normal ammunition, and then we've gone shot Three shots at number one, three at number two, three at number three, number four and number five. Now there was quite a strong wind from left to right, so it has moved the centres off probably an inch from where we are aiming. Not too worried about that. It's the groups and it's the feet per second. So, do factory ammunition boxes tell the truth? Let's have a look in the video and find out. Well there we go, that is the factory, so deviation here of 39.5, good group though. On to the first batch that Dan and I made, um, deviation there is 12.5, quite happy with that, another really good group. Uh, set number 2 deviation was of 9 and 3 treble 2 feet per second, so that's climbing up. Batch number three, three, two, six, four feet per second, and the deviation is 17. Let's go on to four. Just doing the quick check over to make sure there's no lost dog walkers around. Okay, all safe. Right, so this is load number four. I'm going for the top right target. Go. Good to go. Good There we go, that is the reading from 4, deviation of 8.3 and a really nice group again. And the final batch was number 5 and a deviation of 8. So now it's over to Dan, let's see how good he can do. So I've got Dan now, he's now going to shoot my left-handed GRS stocked rifle the wrong way round. I tried to do this and I missed the fox. It was closer than 100 yards to me. So he's now shooting a 100 yard target, three rounds. Dan is a semi professional target shooter at Bisley. He's a, a, a owner of some very rare first war and second war rifles um, Russian, Japanese, English. And he hand loads for all of those rifles. 
So he's really got no excuse whatsoever. Have you? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> We're just walking down now. So this is at 100 yards. Bearing in mind, Dan is right-handed and he's shooting a proper left-handed rifle. Wrong-handed rifle. No, it's not wrong-handed. That's not too bad. That's not bad. We've got quite a wind coming from the left, so we'd expect a bit of a drift off. And that's virtually what I've been getting with mine, haven't I? About yeah. an inch, inch off centre. You must oh, have missed me. Top. No, you missed me. No. One. You missed me. <laughs> Where's the other one hey? gone? No, you probably have gone through exactly the same hole. You must have done. Must have done. Yeah. We'll give him that. What do you reckon? <laughs> well done, mate. So the final three are going to be shot the right way round. Right left, way. left handed. He's now shooting. Again, it's 100 yards. He's shooting at the very small target. You're going to aim an inch off to the left. Uh, I think I'm going to hold on it. He's right. He's going dead on. Just wrong. Well, you hit the board. So what what do you think about that then? Shooting it the right way? No, it's not. It's wrong. You need to need to learn to be correct. No, no you sound like my dad. <laughs> he was always moaning at me, shooting the wrong way. I'm not. I'm shooting what's comfortable. So he's putting his little sex toy back in there just to seal the barrel down. They have to make excuses like these professional shooters. As you can see, not too bad, wrong-handed. You know, <laughs> even shoot better than the wrong-handed person. He's there, been but... down here with a drill. I've just seen him. <laughs> Actually, that's 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 as good as the first shot that I did, wasn't it? That group. That's an inch group. I'll, I'll take that. For... Yeah, that's an, we're talking of these three here. It's an inch group. But I won't be converting. And you were you were aiming spot on the centre. Yeah. Yeah. So that wind might have dropped a little bit. I think oh, it, it well may done, shoot mate. slightly. I might shoot slightly higher. When bit I'm high. Left well, that yeah. I'd be happy. An inch high, I'll try to get it 100 yards. Yeah. yeah. Good with that, mate. Well done. Not bad. Well, there you have it. That's the uh, full results of this morning's shoot. Uh, the first three shots were taken using this factory ammunition, the Norma 76 grain tip strike. My chosen ammo for fox shooting. And we took three shots of that at the whiteboard. And they're slightly off to the right as everything else is. But we did have quite a strong wind coming from the left hand side. So they're off to the right, they're off to the right, so are those. These, however, at the bottom are off to the left. And the simple reason for that is because of the length of grass, I had to turn the target around. So now they're off to the right hand side. So if any of you keen viewers had noticed that, that's the reason why that is. Now, the equipment that Dan brought along today is far too complicated for me to remember the names. So he's listed it down and I will put it in the description below. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have and you're new to the channel, please click on the subscribe button or smash it, as the others seem to like to say, and uh, click on the notification bell. It will be great to have you along for a future video. I'm hoping to now go back out uh, once we've made up the rest of the ammunition and do a couple of foxing sessions using the new Hick Micro Stellar Scope, which I've got on the 243. So let's hope and pray that uh, our little red friend comes out because in the next few weeks it's going to be mating season. So who knows what's going to happen. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you on another video soon. In the meantime, take care. See you later on. Cheerio! Well, I went out that night uh, over to the sheep farm. I spoke to Graham, asked him if he'd seen or heard anything. He hadn't, but I thought I'd go over anyway. This is the view from my Griffin LRF spotter. And I also had a very, very close encounter with a tawny owl. He was about 10 feet away and I was squeaking away and uh, he just could not take his eyes off of me. Coming up this Friday, please don't forget if you're in the Oxfordshire area, at the Oxford Gun Company, we have got Elite Optical Distribution, uh, the Hick Micro Distributors for the UK, uh, with our night vision evening. It'd be great to have you along there. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And please click on that subscribe button. It'd be great to have you along. And hopefully, I'm going to be out after our red friend in the next few nights. See you again soon. Cheerio.